I now move on to our next uh, speaker. Australia and Fiji uh, recently announced a voluntary partnerships arrangement, which we deemed interesting and worthy for the dialogue to hear about. We will therefore proceed to hear a presentation on the Fiji Australia Wuvale Partnership by His Excellency Mitchell Faithful, Permanent Representative of Australia to the United Nations. Excellency, you have the floor. Well, thanks so much, and uh, thanks indeed to uh, Ambassador Frazier and uh, Ambassador Webson uh, for their uh, co chairing. Uh, and can I particularly uh, acknowledge uh, my great friend? Uh, Ambassador Prasad of uh, Fiji, who's uh, also with us. Um, I appreciate uh, very much uh, the opportunity to talk briefly today uh, about a new partnership, uh, the Fiji Australia Vulvale Partnership. Now, to fully understand uh, the Vulvale Partnership, uh, it helps to understand a, a little bit of history. Um, the Fiji Australia relationship went through uh, some difficult and testing times uh, between 2006 and uh, 2013. This was then followed by a period of healing uh, from 2013 to 2018. Uh, and this saw real efforts to improve confidence in the relationship. Uh, there were uh, at times setbacks, but this period was really characterized by a willingness on both sides to move forward uh, in the relationship. And uh, over the course of 2018, uh, we saw clear signs of a new confidence in the bilateral relationship. Uh, there were more frequent and frank policy exchanges uh, about regional issues, about international challenges, uh, and also uh, about bilateral sticking points, uh, including Carver. Um, this growing confidence really was cemented uh, in Australia, being invited to reprise its role as uh, a co-chair of the multinational observer group for Fiji's national elections in uh, November 2018. And at this time, uh, we agreed with Fiji that it would be a good idea to undertake a quick stop point uh, of our points of bilateral cooperation. This revealed that uh, the full picture of our actual existing bilateral cooperation wasn't really properly understood or recognised by, recognized by either side. So uh, with our people as being the fundamental bedrock uh, of the Australia BG relationship, uh, we thought it was crucial uh, to make sure that we fully recognised uh, and appreciated the work of our peoples, of our communities, uh, of our organisations, and also uh, the, the good work uh, of our officials. So in early uh, December 2018, uh, officials in both Canberra and Suva began work on a document uh, which would capture what I think was the extraordinary breadth and depth of the existing cooperation. But also uh, to provide a framework to organise our work for the coming years. Uh, and I really want to acknowledge uh, the key role played by the, the Fijian Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the development of the Vuvale Partnership, um, particularly uh, Deputy Secretary uh, Asala Nayasai, who uh, in reference to a speech by uh, our Prime Minister Morrison, uh, came up with the inspired idea uh, that we call it the Vuvale Partnership. Vuvale is uh, the word in the Fijian language for family. Um, in every respect, it means my home is your home. Uh, Vuvale really does capture the sense of family uh, and a sense of the cultural responsibilities and obligations uh, between our two countries. Uh, the former permanent secretary of uh, Fijian MFAT, um, Naval Urua, uh, also played a key role uh, behind the scenes in shaping the principles that underpin the partnership. Uh, Prime Ministers uh, Bani Marama and Morrison uh, announced the intention to develop the Vulvale partnership when uh, Mr Morrison visited Suva in January 2019 and uh, the two Prime Ministers signed the Vulvale partnership uh, in Canberra in September 2019 uh, during uh, Prime Minister Bani Marama's first official visit to Australia as Prime Minister. Now, the Vuvale partnership really does two things. It, it provides the ballast to our bilateral relationship, but it also provides a platform uh, through which we can strengthen it. It sets out the areas where we work together, uh, but also the areas where we want to do more together. Uh, there are five pillars uh, of the cooperation, which are the, the major themes of, of our bilateral work. Uh, it's people-to-people -people links, 
security cooperation, economic relationship, uh, regional and international issues, and also strong and inclusive societies. But most importantly, uh, it sets out the principles for how our two countries will engage. Uh, firstly, the, the principles of family, um, of trust, of respect, of mutual support, but also uh, a principle that we will uh, listen and speak carefully uh, to understand our respective points of view when differences arise. So that, that's something that's a, a little, little unique. Um, it also adds structure to the relationship, uh, such as establishing annual meetings between our foreign ministers. So Bouvale is different from other bilateral arrangements. Uh, it reflects the deep personal bonds between our countries. And uh, Australia has a, a large and well-respected Fijian diaspora. Um, it includes members of parliament, business leaders, academics, musicians, sports stars. Um, and pre-COVID, uh, for instance, uh, we had about 350,000 Australian tourists would visit Fiji each year. Uh, and uh, Sahyendra, uh, we uh, look forward eagerly to getting them back as, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, in every field, Australians and Fijians work closely together in government, business, defence, education, um, church, environment and sport. Uh, although on this point, I hope we don't work too closely together uh, because we still have um, a, a good, constructive, positive rivalry when it comes to, to sport. Uh, Vovale is all about strengthening uh, these links. And uh, we've already shown our commitment to uh, the Vovale partnership in some very practical ways. Vovale includes, uh, importantly, a commitment for both countries to come to the assistance of the other in response to natural disasters. and. In January 2020, uh, Fiji very generously uh, deployed troops to assist with uh, the bushfire recovery in Victoria. I know the Australian bushfires seem a, a long way ago now, uh, but it was uh, was only in January. Uh, and the Buller Force, uh, as it was known, uh, cleared roads and uh, won hearts uh, in the communities where they worked. Uh, Australia has uh, since reciprocated. Uh, when Fiji was hit by the, the double whammy of uh, COVID-19 and tropical cyclone Harold, uh, Australia responded quickly, uh, delivering health and uh, humanitarian supplies. Uh, Australia also uh, redirected uh, aid funding to provide some direct budget support uh, for the government of Fiji. Uh, and this included on climate change, where under the partnership, we had, and, and I quote from uh, the Bovale partnership here, uh, where we reaffirmed our joint commitment to bilateral, regional and global action on climate change, including disaster response, preparedness and risk reduction activities in food security. Uh, and we have a, a good, ongoing, uh, considered and engaged discussion about multilateral climate change issues uh, through that with Fiji. We're also really pleased to uh, support Fiji's presidency of uh, the 23rd Conference of Parties to the uh, UN Framework Convention on climate change. And uh, I'm pleased to say that our uh, close relationship is also what reflected uh, here at the UN, uh, including through our joint engagement through the Human Rights Council. Uh, and uh, Satyendra and I um, work every day in New York uh, to uh, embody the Bull Valley Partnership. Thanks very much.